I just saw some very interesting tweets that came out an hour ago as of the time of recording this. I don't know when it'll take you to see it on YouTube. Uh, from a very reliable leaker when it comes to GPUs. I followed the launch of the last series of GPUs pretty closely, followed all the leaks, and this, this source was very credible, which is why I'm gonna bother reporting on this. Let me shrink myself down on my little uh, OBS thing here so you guys can get a better look at the tweets. And let's talk about this, this is interesting. So, we're seeing um, a little thread here saying today is May 22nd. Check, I agree with that so far perfectly reliable so far. <laughs> we still don't know the details of next-gen GPU, but we have got some tips. Five nanometer, no matter whether they're going with TSMC or SEC, we're seeing AD102 in transition or GH202 in revolution, question mark. RDNA3 GFX11, how does AMD reach its performance goal? Question mark, double the SIMD in CU, question mark. How about Intel? One thing, and by the way, if you're like, what does any of this mean? We're gonna jump into more of what this means performance-wise after we get through all the tweets here. Okay, so one thing is for sure, we will get a huge performance improvement, including power consumption. I'm happy to see that, by the way, because I didn't like, I liked the big jump in performance we got with the last gen, um, but uh, there was a lot of power increase as well. Anyway, maybe we can get 100 teraflops? FP32 in a single card, that seems optimistic, but that's big numbers, guys. Anyway, based on drafts, by my calculation only, so again, this leaker's calculations based on drafts, the performance scale that is being guessed here is Navi 21.9x, GA102 1x, AD102 2.2x, Navi 31, 4 GCDs greater than 2.5X, and GH202 greater than 3X. They're admitting that they're optimistic, but Jensen and Lisa need time to solve problems, especially bandwidth. What I think they're talking about here is memory bandwidth. The GDDR6X memory might not cut it for these types of numbers that we're seeing here. So maybe there's another memory coming out that, um, you know, by the time these cards launch, and we'll talk launch dates in a second as well. Um, maybe, or they could switch to like HMD, I think it was, it was called, you know, so there all are options here. Again, I'm just speculating a bit. Okay, so those are the tweets. Again, these are rumors. Don't take this, you know, it's your mandatory grain of salt, all of that kind of thing. But what does this mean? Well, I found a WCCF tech article that I feel like did a very nice job um, visualizing some of this information. So let's scroll down over here to basically what this, what this is saying. I think for this article, I'm going to uh, move myself. Ah, Whew. okay. Moved over out of your way here, I think. Okay, so what does this mean? So currently we're sitting here, if you weren't sure what all the GA102s and Navis and all that meant and AD102s, Here's what this all actually means. So AMD RDNA 2 is our current 6000 series AMD cards. And the GA102 Ampere, that's our current 30 series cards. These are the ones nobody can buy, we're out of stock, all of that. So they're saying that this is roughly what they're, the Ampere performance here, There's he's when he had that estimate tweet, I'm saying he, I don't know the gender of this particular leaker, anyway. Um, uh, uh, but what they were considering the um, uh, baseline performance is Ampere with the RDNA 2 currently being very slightly behind that in terms of performance. Now the Lovelace is what we're calling AD102 and that's probably going to be what Nvidia's next GPU is named. And this leaker is guessing at a possible 2.2 times performance, right? So in other words, over doubling the performance of Ampere. That's huge. That's big numbers, guys, big numbers. And then what do we have here? We have RDNA 3, the Navi 3X. That would be what we'd expect coming after RDNA 2, right? AMD's next thing. 
actually looking at 2.5 times performance. And this is interesting because if this is accurate, well, that would mean that AMD would be jumping NVIDIA in terms of max performance at the high end here. Whereas this time they just barely caught up and are probably still a little bit behind. Um, according to this leak, we would see AMD jumping ahead. And then there's still Hopper out there. That's the GH202, which is being rumored as probably being the follow-up to Lovelace. And, uh, for a while there, I think people were thinking Hopper was coming after Ampere, uh, but this is, I think, the most current rumored um, release schedule here for all of this. Okay. This is huge numbers. This would be really exciting to see, and it might make people who never bought a 30 series card or a 6,000 series card because you couldn't get one in stock. Well, if you end up not being able to get a card until this series launches, well, you should be getting a massive upgrade over whatever you're currently sitting on if you didn't even get one of these. And this might mean people might want to jump from this series up to this one anyway. I will link uh, the tweets in the description of this video. I will also link this WCCF Tech article in the description of this video because they do have some other interesting things talking about like when we could expect things based on certain leaks. Again, rumored roadmaps to when we could see these parts. Um, again, with the RDNA 3 and Lovelace, rumored to be a 2022 launch. Again, two years from the... Um, uh, RDNA 2 and Ampere launch, and the uh, RDNA uh, you know, 4 slash uh, Hopper maybe being a 2024. So that's kind of rumored as a every two years cycle here coming out here. And here's some charts again with uh, the rumored specifications and all of that. Again, link to this in the description. And I think this is pretty exciting. Expect me to follow developments and rumors um, on new GPUs as they come out on this channel. So feel free to subscribe and all of that if you're interested. And as always, I hope that you guys have an excellent day.